The last video mentioned that we, as Presbyterians, actually have quite a lot in common with people of other Christian traditions. Just like most mainline denominations, we recognize two sacraments, baptism and communion. We say that these sacraments are outward, visible signs of an inward, invisible grace, that the sacraments express God's grace in tangible ways. These holy acts are rooted in Scripture and in the life of Jesus. Jesus himself was baptized in the Jordan River. Jesus himself shared a meal with his disciples, and he told us as his followers to do these things as well in his name. He said, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When he broke the bread and poured the cup, he said, do this in remembrance of me. He said and did a lot of other things too, of course, but he commanded his followers to continue these two sacred acts. In our Presbyterian tradition, it's important to know that we observe the baptism of other Christian churches. So once you've been baptized, we don't need to do it again. We observe infant baptism too, as a way of remembering the covenant that God makes with people of all ages. Baptism is a sign and seal of God's love, and it's a commitment that the congregation makes to support families in the spiritual nurture of their child. Presbyterians also believe in an open table for communion, meaning you don't have to be a member of this or any Presbyterian church in order to receive the sacrament. All you have to do is come with a willing heart as a follower of Jesus. We believe it's his table, and that everyone is welcome. In addition, we use gluten-free bread and grape juice so that everyone can participate. These important symbols of our faith, the water of baptism, the bread and the cup at communion, they are reminders of God's unconditional love and they connect us to Christ and to one another through the presence of the Holy Spirit. At the baptismal font and at the communion table, the gospel takes shape in our lives and strengthens us to follow Jesus in the world.